If you're involved in a competition such as Formula SAE, you'll need to create a costing report. How do you estimate the cost of sheet metal or milled parts? The answer can be found within SOLIDWORKS Costing, which will give you an estimate cost per part. This, as well as how to include your costs within your bill of materials, will be shown in this video. The first step is to open a sheet metal part or a part that will be milled. Under the Evaluate tab, click SOLIDWORKS Costing, and in this case select Sheet Metal Costing. This will open the Sheet Metal Costing Manager on the left, and then the Sheet Metal Costing Task Pane on the right. In the window on the right, you can first select your units as well as your material. With sheet metal parts, it will automatically set the thickness to that of the part. Below that, you can input the price of the material per unit mass. The next step is to select the area to cost, which takes into consideration the size of material being used. This area can be offset if needed. The total number of parts that will be manufactured can be entered to account for large-scale production. There's also another section that you can add any markups or discounts into the price. The estimated cost of the part will be shown below. In the Sheet Metal Costing Manager, the breakdown of how the part is going to be manufactured is shown. Each step can be right-clicked and changed depending on how the part is going to be manufactured. There's also an option for applying a cost override, which will allow you to set the price manually. If one of these is changed, the price will update in the window on the right, and the previous price will be shown as well. If the top price bar is green, it means the price went down compared to that of the previous one. If it is red, then the price has increased. A report can be generated detailing the breakdown of these costs by clicking the button at the lower right of the window. Once you are satisfied with your results, you will probably want to carry these results into your bill of materials. To do this, you have to set custom properties within the part document by first going under File, then Properties, and finally Custom. From the drop-down in the blank box under Property Name, select Cost. Now under the drop-down under Value, select Calculated Cost. Don't forget to fill out other properties such as Material and Weight so that you can put them into the Bill of Materials. Now you can create a drawing of your assembly which will include your Bill of Materials. With your drawing open, go under Insert Tables and Build Materials. Select the drawing view and click OK, then place the Build Materials on the drawing sheet. To insert a column, right click in the Build of Materials and select Insert Column, and then select either to the right or left. From the menu that appears at the top of the column, select Custom Properties, then Cost under the property name. If that or any other options that you would like to set in your bill of materials is not there, make sure that the property has been set within the part document. Other columns can be added such as mass or the subtotal price of the part. To insert the subtotals, insert a new column and under the column type select Equation. Then click the Equations icon on the right side of the box. You can then multiply the quantity and the cost for each column by selecting the two of them under the Columns drop-down and adding a multiplication sign. Clicking the green check mark will complete the equation. The column then can be double clicked and given a name such as subtotal. A similar process can be used to create a totals row at the bottom of the bill of materials for the total mass of the assembly as well as the total cost. Add a new row at the bottom and call it total. It may say that you are breaking the reference but that is ok. Click on the cell that is at the very bottom of the subtotals. Clicking the equation symbol and then under functions click total and then click the check mark. This will sum up all of the subtotals. The same process can be repeated for the mass column as well except this time under function select sum. I hope this will help you when analyzing cost either for SAE cars, robot competitions or for any other costing project.